Year 2000 Porsche 911 Turbo. So that's your 996 Turbo. So obviously all the lovely wide turbo bodywork, turbo wheels, all that sort of stuff. Now this car is easily the nicest 996 of any variant, turbo, carb, Carrera, whatever we've had in the last, well, probably ever to be fair. It is gorgeous. Just quickly scamming around the outside. I just want to show you all your panels are the same color. Can look a little bit off on that rear quarter normally because it's got such a wide back end. But as you can see, same color, panel to panel all the way around, all the same. Even the front bumper matches the bonnet, which they never ever do. Really, really good car. Doesn't actually look like, to me anyway, like it's ever had any paperwork. Um, nice low mileage, 46,000 miles. Obviously been very, very well cared, from, cared for from day one. Matching Pirelli P0s all round, immaculate wheels, but we're gonna go around and do inch by inch. Um, I'm gonna take my time and really try and find anything to point out about this car, because it is beautiful. Um, we're gonna start by having a good look around the bodywork. Then we'll move on to the interior and we'll go for a cold engine startup. If we start on this driver's side, if you look down the side of the car, you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there. It's not full of ripples or dents or filler. All your panel gaps are exactly as they should be all the way down. Driver's front wing, we've got one tiny little stone chip just there. You can only just see it. And another one just behind, there's two there, just where the arch starts to flare out. They haven't actually chipped the paint, they've just took the top layer off, but they are there. The rest of the wing is immaculate. There's no marks to talk about on that. Inside the wheel arch, again, normally this all gets sort of stone chipped away and starts to rust. But as you can see, that's lovely and clean all the way around. Same story on the front, on the plastic bumper. There's no scratches in there or anything like that. Around the indicator is lovely. This lower half of the side of the bumper is good as well. Um, front right hand wheel, really nice and neat. If you're being picky, personally, I'd put a new set of wheel nuts on. Um, but actually you only notice them because the wheel is like brand new. There's not a mark on the wheel. Discs are nice and clean. The calipers are very, very good. And like I say, we're on a set of matching Pirelli P0s all around. Loads of tread left in them. Coming down this side, if we have a look up on the windscreen quite often, you can get some delamination down the bottom here or in the top corner, but this one, as you can see, is very good. Rubber seal all the way around is nice and soft. And amazingly, the plastics on the scuttle here are lovely. Normally they're dried out and faded and cracked, whereas these ones are all very good. They're not covered in back to black. They're not oily or anything like that. No sign of any stone chips up the A-pillar. And then up onto the roof. No stone chips on the leading edge or anywhere on the a little bit of dirt there, we'll ignore that. Um, on a, anywhere on the roof, around the uh, the sunroof itself, that's all good and the seal is nice and soft, it's not dried out or cracked. The rest of the roof's all good as well. Glass on this side, nice and clear, it's not got any nasty window tints or ingrained scratching or anything on it. Wing mirror is all good, there's no marks to notice on that. And then driver's door, really very, very good, no marks at all to whinge about on that. And if we go a bit lower, we've got that sill cover all the way down, which is nice and neat. Even where it kicks out here, normally you find a whole load of stone chips covered down this section here. So much so that on the newer cars, this comes with PPF from the factory, but this one, as you can see, is lovely and neat. Round the air intake is all good. There's no issues with the seals. They're all nice and soft as well. And then that rear arch in there, you can see it's not had any stone chips causing any issues, any corrosion or anything like that. Lovely and clean. If you get your hands in there, you can see it's nice and sharp all the way around. No sign of any corrosion coming through. Another lovely wheel, caliper, and Pirelli P0 tyre. Having a look back down that side from here. All nice and neat. And then round up the back, the exhaust tips sit nice and level. It looks really good with that number plate on as well. Obviously meant to be turbo. Around the barge is all nice and neat. Normally these can crack with sponges and things, but this one's all good. Both tail lights are as they should be. There's no scuffs or marks on the corners of the bumper or lower down where it might have been picked up by a curb or anything like that, it's all good. Corners are nice and neat. And then obviously you've got that twin deck spoiler, this comes up electronically. Lovely and neat down the front end there, and quite often this can be used to lift up the engine cover, as you can see, all very good. Rear screen, seals are nice and soft. No delamination, it does have the optional wiper as well. Round up the passenger side, again, lovely and straight all the way down, not full of ripples or dents, not full of filler. Even the color match from the rear bumper to the rear quarter is bang on. 
Definitely don't think it's had any paint. You can see from all the sort of nooks and crannies, they're all immaculate. Inside here again, lovely and sharp all the way around. Another good wheel and tire uh, and caliper. Calipers are really, really good. Nice bright red calipers on a silver car look great, don't they? Pirelli, Pirelli P0 on this one. So like I say, all the way around. There is a very, very light scratch just there. You can just see it as a little speck just there with a stone chip above it. That looks to me like it would polish out. That is a stone chip there. All good around the dam and down the lower half again. And that sill cover all the way along is nice and neat. There's no marks to talk to whinge about. On the passenger door, all good on the wing mirror and up the A-pillar and along this edge of the roof. Have another look at the roof while we're up here. You see with those signs of reflecting in it, if there's any ripples or dents or anything, you'd see them straight away. Windscreen on this side is nice. Again, no delamination. The plastics are good on here as well. Front wing, lovely and neat all the way around there again. Got a very, very light scratch just there. You have to get right on top of it. It's actually on the on the lip where the indicator is, so you can't really see it. Another good wheel tile and car caliper. It has the cleanest headlights I think I've ever seen on a 996. They always need polished. These ones are perfect. Um, certainly don't need polished. And then if we come down the front, that front lip's nice and neat. There's no stone chips on the nose cone like there normally is. Both dams on the front are good. And then the bonnet. One or two very minor, I mean, I'm talking really minor stone chips, but that is it. The rest of the bonnet is lovely and neat. So cosmetically, really very, very good. Moving on to the interior. Black leather in this one. All your door shuts are good. Normally these get quite scuffed up and kicked, but these ones are lovely, as you can see. Nice and neat on the driver's door cut. All the stitching's nice and clean. The top where you rest your arm is good. Driver's seat. The leather is still sat and it's not overly shiny from use. This is how it should look. No wear at all on that. Really very, very good. Still smells like a new portion, actually. Back to the seats are nice and neat. They've not been kicked or abused. And the rear seats were actually flopped down so you can use it for more storage when we pick the car up. Um, so it shows that they don't get used basically at all. Turbo steering wheel, which I, I think is a bit nicer than the normal Carrera steering wheel. In lovely condition. All that stitching on the front is good. It's no wear at all. 46,569 miles on this one. Again, you see these things on 130, 140 more regularly than not. Lovely and neat across the top of the dash. This one has optional phone, larger nav unit, or larger stereo with nav, I believe. Um, and quite a few extras, a dual zone climate control, all that sort of stuff. Six stack CD player by the looks of things. Uh, onboard computer and cruise as well. Important to have. We'll come back to the engine bay in a second and we'll start that up then coming into the passenger side door card again there's no wear at all on anywhere where you'd see your armrest stitching's all nice and neat the carpet settle on the bottom is good door shut on this side again nice no kicks or damage on the plastics the plastics are lovely and satin they're not overly shiny or anything like that and again same condition on the passenger seat really really nice nice and satin not overly shiny dash on this side it's lovely and neat. Normally you get a lot of kick marks down here, but this one's all good. And then if we go in the front, all the uh, the plastics are in the right places. Battery covers where it should be. Front covers are good. All the screws are lined up. They're all nice and neat as well. We do have sort of a Porsche classic number plate there. Carpet sets all lovely and neat in there as well. If we lift that up, you've got your uh, space saver and your warning triangle. Six stacks there with the cassette. Normally that's sort of gone missing by now. It comes in and out. It is a Porsche branded one as well. It's even still got the option sticker under the bonnet as well. If we go around the boot, or around the back, sorry, lift the engine cover. And again in here, really nice and clean. Been parked here a little while. You can see it's not dropping any fluid on the floor. A little bit of condensation with it being stone cold. Got that lovely turbo rumble if we come around the front. Other than a warning light for the bonnet being open, no warning lights on in there. And you can see stone cold. Nice cold oil, oil temperature, oil pressure's where it should be as well. So there you have it, year 2000. Does come on the plate, T11 TBO, 996 turbo. We are open for viewings every day, so if you want to come and see the car, just let us know, we can book you in. 
If you can't get here again, let us know. We can do extra photos, extra videos, anything you might need. We can do video calls as well. Um, check the description, we'll detail everything we know as far as service history goes, things like that. Thank you.